A new chair has been elected for the UN's commission on the status of women. Hurrah! How exciting. I wonder who she is and which forward-thinking country she's from. Well, her name is Abdul Aziz Al Russell. Abdul Aziz is a bloke's name. All right, fair enough. Um, well, I bet it's from a very progressive country that will set a shining example to the world. And he is from Saudi Arabia. You what? Saudi Arabia is the new chair of the UN Commission that's supposed to promote gender equality and empower women around the world. OK, well, want to hear some fun facts about being a woman in Saudi Arabia? There aren't any. There are, however, deeply regressive laws that make women second-class citizens vulnerable to domestic and sexual abuse, like uh, ruling that a woman has to obey her husband and her husband's financial support is dependent on said obedience. In fact, a woman refusing to have sex with her spouse or refusing to live in the marital home or travel with him without a legitimate excuse can also justify financial support being withdrawn. And that's the actual law, by the way, as of 2022. I'm not talking about old legislation. That is the law right now. Oh, and by the way, women couldn't drive in Saudi until 2018. I have socks and pants older than that law. To really rub salt in the wound, they'll be in the chair for next year's 30th anniversary of the Beijing Declaration, a landmark blueprint for advancing women's rights around the world. It's clear what the Saudis get out of this. Of course it's clear. They get a chance to pinkwash their image with paper feminism, pure lip service to the cause of women's rights to distract from what we all know is going on at home. But what's equally astounding is that their bid for leadership was completely unopposed. Now, in fairness to our country, Britain, we're not a member of the Commission on the Status of Women, so we didn't actually have a say in this. But maybe we should think again about whether the UN is really fit for purpose. My only hope from any of this is that with the spotlight shining on Saudi Arabia, they may feel the pressure to make meaningful changes to women's rights. But until they do, they're just another embarrassment to the world of woke. The world of woke.